Thank you for coming in today. What, what would you like to talk about? Thank you for coming in today. What would you like to talk about? So I had this this uh, issue with one of my coworkers, and I kind of like he did not do the job properly, and I kind of flipped out, lost my temper, which isn't exactly the right way to handle that situation. Okay. So can you tell me a little bit more about what losing your temper means? What what did that look like? Oh, I uh, started swearing and I threw um, a, a bottle of water at him. Okay. Okay. Have there been other? What what are some other experiences you've had um, that have looked like this? Um, have you had other experiences in the workplace? With losing my temper, or mm-hmm. um, not like that? It's kind of escalated and. It's, it's 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 sort of escalated. It wasn't really an issue prior. Okay. Um. And what are some experiences you've had like that, maybe outside of the workplace? I don't think I usually lose my temper to that degree. Um. I think I'm usually a little better in control of my emotions. I think. Okay. So um, what what I'm hearing you say is that you've had some issues with, you know, becoming angry and losing your temper primarily in the workplace and that, um, you know, what losing your temper looks like has certainly escalated um, over the, over the course of time that resulted in the incident you talked about. Right. That's all that Okay. Um, so what are what are some of the things um, in the workplace that have seemed to make you feel angry and, and brought out your temper? And other people don't do their job or don't do it the way they're supposed to do it. Okay. So tell me a little bit more about how people are supposed to do their job. Um, do you feel like this is, um, you know, your... Um, You've seen this, you know, your observations, you know, do you feel like it's kind of not following the rules? Um, Whose assessment is that? Oh, it's mine. Um, I mean, we have a job description and, you know, we kind of, you know, pretty, as clearly as we can state it now, like any job, you know, things, there are variables and things change. Um, But, you know, the the general tasks, the simple tasks are are pretty standard. Um, And... You know, it, we try to make it as easy as possible and as clear as and state it as clearly as possible. Okay. So there's sets of, you know, kind of rules and expectations within the workplace and you're recognizing that um, some of your coworkers aren't, aren't following them or abiding by them. And, and that's increasing that anger and frustration. Correct. In you. Yeah. Okay. Um, what are some um, some things that you've tried to deal with that anger and frustration um, prior to you getting to the point of losing your temper? I mean, I typically just kind of walk away to, you know, to cool off and um, sort of remove myself from the situation. Mm-hmm. And what what success have you had with that? Well, I mean, I've never done this before, but I mean, clearly it's still an issue, so it might not be so successful. Okay. So maybe in those moments, it felt successful. It felt helpful to get away from the situation, but um, the situation wasn't resolving itself. The the anger was just sort of building up. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I didn't, because I was removing myself from the situation, you know, that eliminated, you know, the, you know, the outburst or, or the inappropriate action on my end. Um, but it obviously didn't make it non-existent. Okay, so what are what are some other things you've tried other than walking away? I may mean, go home and have a drink after work, but um, like in the moment, that's generally just to avoid the conflict and and take myself out of the situation. Okay, so what what could you imagine could be something that maybe you haven't tried um, that you know you might be be willing to do? I mean. Now, with a clear head, I can probably, you know, walk away from the situation to calm down and then circle back and sort of re-engage in a, in a calmer, in a calmer, more professional manner. Okay. And so how do you imagine something like that going? I don't know. I've never done it. Um, I don't know. I mean, I can imagine it would be better, but... 
you know, on the flip side, you could also imagine like all the ways it could go wrong. Um, you know, the person you know, you're trying, you've taken the time to, you've taken the time out of your work and then you've taken yourself away from your stuff to go calm down and then to circle back. And then, you know, part of me is imagine, okay, so there's an attitude coming back in the other direction. And does that then just piss me off more because, you know, I took time to not be pissed off and then end up pissed off anyway. Okay. So one of the things maybe that has prevented you from doing that is, you know, the idea that um, it's going to take more time away from your work. You're going to be more invested in it and ultimately maybe not, not still not get the results that, that you're looking for. Right. Okay. And so what, what, what are some of the things that are leading you to believe that, that there's, um, you know, a good chance that it may not go well? I mean, this person generally has kind of a kind of a smart ass attitude. I kind of have a smart ass attitude and have a sarcastic side, so like that could potentially not not go. Okay. So the the combination of personalities, you imagine that 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 may be difficult or make the the situation challenging. Potentially, I just like I feel like I feel like this person doesn't really take their job that seriously, um, mm -hmm. and that you know that's I guess part of my underlying frustration as well. Okay. Um, what are some other ways that you feel like you might be able to approach the situation? Um, you know, perhaps you, you know, can kind of be mindful of your smart ass kind of um, demeanor and maybe approach it in a bit of a different way. Can you, can, I don't quite understand the question. What do you mean? Okay. So what other way could you have the conversation that maybe um, might go a little bit better? I mean, I think, I think going in, I have every intention of, okay, this is not the appropriate time to be a smart ass, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's trying to like repress working, you know, like processing, not, not actively trying not to do that. You know what I mean? Is that what you were kind of asking? Okay. So you imagine that in the situation, even though your intentions would be not to come off that way, that ultimately it may be a challenge. It could be. It could be. Okay. And, um, you know, what, what sort of tells you that this is the most likely outcome? I don't know that it's the most likely outcome. I just, it could be an outcome. Okay. So what are some of the other possible outcomes? I mean, so the, the rainbows and puppy dogs, you know, outcome is, oh, yeah, that is great. You are so right. I will I will get right to that. Mm -hmm. and so, I don't think that's likely. But. And so it sounds like that's that's one that you believe isn't as likely. Okay. So so what might be the most likely outcome? You know, maybe somewhere in between those. I think I think lip service. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I'll I'll I'll, I'll work on that or I'll improve on that. But. Okay, so what impact do you think that'll have on, on you, your anger in the situation, if you feel like the other person is sort of just kind of giving you lip service to, to move on from the situation? I think it'll just kind of delay it and push things back until the next time and then just be more pissed off. Okay, okay. so ultimately it would, um, you know, have the potential to increase that, that level of anger that you're having. Right. Okay, so, you know, if if you were able to kind of wave a magic wand, right? And and make the situation better, um, sort of overnight or in an instant. Um, what do you imagine that would that would look like? You mean like wave the magic wand and now I'm on a Caribbean island retired? That kind of magic wand? <laughs> maybe or... not quite that far, but you know, maybe one that that, you know, doesn't result in, in you becoming so or holding in so much anger and, and ultimately um, you know I mean I think the magic wand you know, you have a conversation and it kind of sinks in that, you know, we all have a role to play. And when we all do our role properly to the best of our ability, the way it's meant to be done, everyone, you know, it's better for the whole organization as opposed to, um, you know, trying to work around someone who's not, you know, pulling their weight. Okay. So more of a, a collaborative team effort, sure. you know, something where everybody's kind of putting forth the effort. Um, how do you imagine this could sort of look like in, in reality? 
Um, what kind of things do you feel like could be done to maybe get reality a few steps closer to that outcome? I mean, I mean, one you 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 have pe you have people within your organization that like all share a common a common goal and a common work ethic. Um, I know that's not always easy to get everybody on the same page. Um, I mean, that would be sort of the idealistic that everybody is there for the same reason, maybe not doing the same job, but for the same reason and the same goals and the same mission. Um, I lost my train of thought. What was the, what did you ask again? So, you know, what are some ways that you feel like you, or you, you believe that you might be able to make reality maybe a few steps closer to that sort of magic wand yeah. scenario? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it's an effort to try and get everybody, you know, motivated and on the same page, I think is probably the, is, is probably the best way to do it. Okay, so what are some things that are preventing that from happening, from, from engaging in something that will help pull the team together? I mean, money's tight. So, I mean, you know, you see all these things about, oh, we did a corporate team building thing and it was really awesome, but you know, like money's tight, so, you know, we can't really do that sort of thing. Um, and, you know, you know, we try every now and then, you know, to order in lunch. It was just like a nice little, hey, you know, out of my pocket, just appreciate what you guys are doing. Thank you so much. And then, you know, obviously, you know, not everybody works at the same level. Um, so it's trying to find, you know, how to, and not everybody connects with the same thing. Some people mm -hmm. like, oh, big deal. I got lunch. And some people are like, oh, wow, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, this person in particular is like, okay, whatever. I got a free lunch. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not sure like what the motivation, you know, where the, what the motivation button is. Okay. So it sounds like with this particular person, um, it might be um, really finding out what motivates them, what drives them and tapping into that, you know, um, being able to, create an, an, an intervention or, or work at something that would be helpful for him or others that may be like him. Um, you know, since some of the other things that, that you all have tried haven't quite worked. Yeah. It's, it's just frustrating. I can imagine that it is when you feel like there are so many people on the team really pulling their weight and, and this person isn't. And you've obviously tried a number of things um, and they haven't worked for this person. And then that adds to that frustration. So I can imagine how it kind of has built up um, and been challenging for you. Um, so what, what do you think you, is, a, is a good direction to head at this point? You know, what is something that you feel like maybe could be helpful for you to work on to diminish some of that anger or at least not let it get to that level. Sure. Okay. Do you think that that's, that's a reasonable, um, a move at this point? Do you feel like there's cause for, for that? I mean, there's always ramifications, um, but it's an option. I think again, the whole wanting to avoid the whole conflict thing, mm -hmm. um, makes me not want to just, can somebody but mm -hmm. I mean at some point I guess at some point you have to I guess at some point you really have to kind of evaluate the whole system and if that's the part that's you know holding holding the system back from moving forward then I don't know maybe that's best so it seems like this this person is more than just a frustration to you but it seems to be really kind of maybe pulling the team apart or at least not allowing it to come together um, as a co cohesive um, whole. Yeah, I mean, my main frustration is is you know the the lack of doing the job, and ultimately, mm -hmm. ultimately the lack of doing the job kind of affects everybody else. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get frustrated. I don't know. I don't know to what degree other people get frustrated. I know a few do, um, but. So on one hand, you know, you want to avoid the confrontation. You don't want to just kind of, you know, fire someone and, and you know, have, have that difficulty there. And on the other hand, you're feeling like potentially letting this person go could help the, the culture overall of the workplace. Yeah, maybe.
Okay, so it sounds like that is a pretty big conflict to have, something that, that you know, is really a, a, a pull for you. Yeah. yeah. All right, so it sounds like this is definitely something that we can continue to, to talk about and, and work on um, as we move forward. How does that sound? Yeah, we can talk about how firing it went. 